today I'm going to talk about this man and his famous artwork. So he is the very famous Mean Light and with his famous The Gleaners. So he was born in 1814, 1814 and died in 1875. He moved to France. Well, he's French. He moved to Paris when when he was 20, hoping to make a living by painting. And before he moved to Paris, he lived in the countryside working for the farm, working on the farm. So he found out that he couldn't make a living by his original paintings. So he started painting farm life, but after he, uh, when he was alive, no one bought his paintings. So it's a bit like Van Gogh, but after he died, there was an American art collector who, who would buy the painting, the Gleaners, for a very high price. So the Gleaners is a painting that looks like this. So this is the famous painting, The Gleaners, and you can see very clearly what is going on. You can see that there are three women picking up the leftover wheat, well, gleaning, if you can say that as a verb, and you can see in the back where there are cars and loads of wheat that are ready to be brought away. So this is mainly about, um, this painting is mainly about poor people, which at Mealy's time, people didn't really appreciate it or accept it. Yeah, accept it. They didn't really accept it. The painting with poor people because they think that paintings should be about historical figures or religious figures or heroic figures, not just some poor people picking up stuff from the ground. But he drew it, and, well, although it's a little bit, a little bit related to a biblical story, it still didn't, it still wasn't really popular. So you can see that the woman with the um, blue hat and the woman with the red hat is bending down very low and picking up, picking up, um, wheat from the ground. And the woman with the yellow hat is scanning around for some other leftover wheat. So, farmers let them do that because it's sort of like a um like christian law and even if it's even if the farmer isn't christian there's still like um actual laws that says you have to share 
a teeny bit of your wheat with the pork. So, I think Melee painted this painting to make the poor look more, well, they, um, to make them look more dignified and also to say that it's not fair that they only get so small for such hard work. And um, after this painting was made, farmers even started to charge these people who had no money and had to pick, pick the leftover wheat. So the, the rich, the upper level people was afraid that these poor people would become, there would be more of these poor people and they had to share more of their property. So about the biblical story related to the green arms, it's this painting, also painted by me late. So you can see that the woman in the green dress in the left of the painting, and the man beside her. Uh, they look like they're um, dating or something. So it's um, a story about Ruth, which is the woman in the green dress. So Ruth is a very loyal person, and, but her husband died very shortly after they married. But she said, she told her mother-in-law that she would follow her no matter what. And so her mother-in-law decided that they all go to Israel. And so they did. But Ruth couldn't find a proper job and they had, they was very poor. So Ruth gleaned like the woman in the greeners and the owner of the farmer, which is the man beside Ruth in this painting. Well, the mother-in-law suggested that Ruth marry him. But this, well, this um, man asked that Ruth if she wanted to. And so in the end, they married. The story is mainly like that and so it's a bit related, like the cleaners is a little related to this biblical story, but just a little. And so back to the cleaners. People make, well, a parody, you know, like parodies of this painting because it's so famous. They make parodies such as this one, which the background didn't change, but the foreground did. The woman, the women are picking up trash. So that's one of them. And there's also this one, like a cartoon version and panda version. So you can see that the background changed. Oh, this one needs a move. Well, so I made my own, which came out like this. So it's more like a comic than a painting or a sketch parody, but anyway. So this is how I made it. I drew the figures first in simple shapes and it looked like this on the paper and then i drew the background leave the space for the people and i stick these people on that i drew earlier you have to cut them out first of course 
and ta-da, it looks like this. So it's sort of like an a ironic comic about the water shortage problems. So this is the video about this man called Malay and his famous painting, The Cleaners.